Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So a quick preview and prediction for Kazuto Ioka versus Kozai Tanaka. This fight goes down on the 31st of December, New Year's Eve in Japan. And as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the better fights of the year. And certainly, it has pound for pound level implications. Uh, Kazuto Ayoka is a four weight world champion, and Kotai Tanaka is a three weight world champion. And by the way, Kotai Tanaka actually became a three weight world champion in just 12 fights. So both of these guys have done some great things in their careers, respectively, and they match up for a great all Japanese battle. Cannot wait for this fight. Stylistically, you know, this one should be a bit of a war, to be honest. When you get these sort of fights involving two lower weight Japanese fighters, usually it always ends up in fireworks. So I'm expecting a lot from this fight, maybe even a late contender for fight of the year. So I would certainly implore everybody to watch this fight. You know, it should be a barn burner, like I said. And uh, if you're not a fan of lower weight boxing... Maybe this is the sort of fight that could actually, you know, win you over, put it that way. But yeah, real good fight between two top fighters. Now, let's briefly break down the tale of the tape. We shall start with a champion, Kazuto Ioka. He has a record of 25 wins, 2 defeats, 0 draws. 14 of those 25 wins coming by way of knockout. And by the way, for the record, those 2 defeats are very controversial. Kotai Tanaka has a perfect record of 15 and 0, 9 of those 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Kazuto Ioka is listed as 5 foot 4 and a half with a 65 and a half inch reach. Kotai Tanaka is listed as 5 foot 4 and a half with a 64 and a half inch reach. So both guys have the same height, but obviously uh, Ioka has one inch in reach on Tanaka. Uh, Ioka is 31 years old, whereas Kota Tanaka is 35 years old, and both of these guys are orthodox fighters. So when you look at the tail of the tape, there's really not much in it in terms of physical attributes. I don't believe the one inch reach advantage for uh, Ioka is going to play much of a factor in this fight, given how both guys fight. However, Kazuto Ioka certainly has the experience advantage in this fight. He's been involved in more world title fights, and in my opinion, he has actually fought a higher level of competition. So that could be a factor on fight night. Now, stylistically, like I said, this fight should gel for a real entertaining scrap, a nip and tuck type of fight. I believe there's going to be exchanges. Both guys are going to have their moments, and both guys will find holes in their opponent's game. Um, but for me, I do actually make Kazuto Ioka the favourite in this fight. <clears throat> to me, he needs to apply his usual pressure game. Kazuto Ioka is a good boxer in general, but to me, his standout trait is his pressure game. He's got quick feet coming forwards, cuts the ring off well, he'll back you up with his jab, work the body... And uh, he can punch while moving forwards as well, which obviously is always great for a pressure fighter. And also, actually, Kazuta Ioka is actually pretty good at counter-punching on the front foot, which is a very difficult skill. And yeah, to me, Ioka needs to implement his usual pressure style. Um, Kosai Tanaka is the guy coming up in weight. Uh, Ioka is more used to the super flyweight weight class, he's fought some big super flyweights in the past, and he's shown good strength in those fights, so for me, Ioka, he needs to put it on Kosai Tanaka early on in this fight, make him realise this is the new weight class, he needs to make Tanaka realise that, you know, this is a different level to what he's been fighting at, and I do believe Ioka is certainly the best guy Tanaka's ever fought in his career. So for me, a quick start for Ioka is essential. Try and strike some terror into the young man's heart. And yet, yeah, apply his usual pressure game. Work behind that jab. Get, uh, dig down to that body. You know, he's got a very educated right hand to the body. He can hook to the body as well. But I like Ioka's uppercut to the body. Real good shot. And yeah, he needs to mix it up in this fight. Push Tanaka back. And also draw Tanaka into the exchanges. Now Tanaka has real quick hands, in, uh, to be honest. And he puts his shots together really well. But to me, the crisper punch technique comes from Kazuta Ioka. So for me, I would like to see Ioka actually engage Tanaka in the exchanges. Now in the exchanges, Tanaka might actually outland Ioka. However, the crisper punch technique of Ioka, uh, he could actually catch Tanaka 
with some with some crisp, powerful shots in between his punches that maybe hurts him, rocks him, drops him, or even knocks him out. You know, to me, Ioka has the better punch technique out of a two, and he's got good timing, good accuracy. So try and engage Tanaka in these exchanges, um, as well as obviously applying pressure, working behind that jab, and really making it a hard night for him. To me, Ioka, I don't believe he, he should box with Tanaka, to be honest. Tanaka's younger, fresher, maybe a bit busier, quicker hands. Don't don't make this a boxing match. Ioka needs to apply pressure. You know, obviously box on the front foot. You know, don't make don't make silly mistakes or silly or take silly risks. But he needs to, he, he really needs to force the issue in this fight, in my opinion. And if he does that, I do believe there's a very good chance that Ioka wins this one. I've seen Ioka apply that sort of style against very good boxers like Donny Nietes. Now, he actually officially lost that fight with Nietes, who's a very good boxer, but to me, Ioka won that fight. I don't, I don't care what the judges said on, on that night. But yeah, Ioka needs to apply his usual pressure game. As for Kosai Tanaka, I think the key for him in this fight is discipline and awareness of when and when not to engage, when and when not to box, and he needs to manage the contest, you know. Like I said earlier, I don't believe a war favours Tanaka like it would favour Ioka. So, yeah, the key for Tanaka in this fight is picking his spots, picking his moments, flurrying, getting in and out, using those quicker hands, quicker feet to get his work done and then exit, you know. He needs to keep Ioka turning, and he can't really afford to let Ioka set his feet for large periods in this fight because again holding your feet against Ioka and trading favors Ioka in my opinion but um yeah another thing with uh with Tanaka in this fight is obviously one shot that's that's more than likely to work for him is his right uppercut uh, Tanaka has a beautiful uppercut which he times extremely well. He can throw it on the fly and he throws it with great speed. I believe that shot can be there for him in this fight. Like I said, Ioka is a pressure fighter, but you know, sometimes he's guilty of not moving his head enough. Sometimes he keeps his head on centre line and as a pressure fighter coming forwards uh, in, a, in a crouch, that shot could be there for Tanaka in this fight and that could be a very effective shot against uh, the on-rushing uh, Ko Kazuta Ioka. And another thing as well would be, I think it's going to be wise for Tanaka when you're getting in and out and, and doing your work. Uh, try and don't don't neglect that body of Kazuta Ioka. You know he is the older man. He has been at this weight for a longer period of time. Maybe now he's starting to struggle with that weight. And um, again, also you know working the body is a great way to domesticate a pressure fighter to slow him down during the stretch to make it easier on yourself in, in a long fight. So again, the body work of Tanaka in this one could be very key, as it could for Kazuta Ioka as well, you know. Um, but for me, the key for uh, Tanaka ultimately is not to set his feet, it's to keep on the move, uh, try and keep Ioka turning, get in and out, uh, utilise that jab, stay active with it. And yeah, he needs to be the more mobile fighter of the two, in my opinion, in this bout. But, you know, I think Tanaka... You know, he's a warrior, you know, that's, that's that Japanese samurai spirit. Both of those guys have it. And I think when these guys share the ring with each other, that's what's going to come out. I think boxing may go out the window in certain rounds. Both guys are going to engage each other. And ultimately, we're going to get some real topsy-turvy rounds and aggressive rounds and just fireworks in a lot of these rounds. So despite what I've said, I fully expect this fight to turn into a bit of a war. Um, and in a war, I would favour uh, Kazuta Ioka. Um, quite frankly, I, I have been flirting with a late stoppage or, or a close points decision. I think I'm going to settle on points. Kazuta Ioka, a close points win over Tanaka. I think this fight could be controversial, no matter what way it goes. I think it could be one of those sort of fights. But And ultimately, I just expect Kazuta Ioka to win this fight. If it turns out to be the fight that I expect... I think that favours Kazuta Ioka. Um, I, I just don't believe Tanaka is going to be disciplined um, enough to kind of fight to his game plan. I think he's going to get drawn into a into a war. The thing with Tanaka, uh, Tanaka at times shows a real nice quick jab, some great head movement. He can slip punches. He actually has good defense when he chooses to use it. But the problem is the problem is sorry with Tanaka. 
he's that sort of guy. Once you tag him, he's going to come back at you and his defense goes out of a window. We saw that in the uh, in the Taguchi fight, for example, where at times he was showing great head movement, but, but then Taguchi would catch him and, you know, Tanaka just really wanted to fight fire with fire. And to me, fighting fire with fire with Ioka is a dangerous game. I see Ioka as a more layered fighter in exchanges, in the pocket. I think he's a great trap setter. He's a great counter puncher, great timing, great accuracy. And yeah, in those exchanges, in a war, I just, I, I just favour Kazuta Ioka uh, personally. But like I said, it's a can't-miss fight. If you're free on New Year's, watch this fight. I believe in the UK this fight's going to go down uh, sort of uh, midday, just after midday. Uh, I believe it's televised on Box Nation and Premier Sports. So if you have those channels and you've got some free time, you want to see a good fight, uh, switch it on, man. It's, it's a great, great fight. It's going to be a war. Anyway, share your thoughts below. Share your picks below. Who are you picking to win this fight and how? Anyway, Beanie Guy, Delboy. Peace.